How y'all doing out there? Uh, Left Lane Dipper here. Come make another video. It is June seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. Happy Monday to everybody. Rocking the uh, Tennessee uh, shirt today. I've already loaded my lips. Um, title this video, and um, it's a little different, I guess, as far as the title is concerned. But the title of this video is, Why Can't They Leave Us Alone? Um, and I say that because of some stuff that uh, I've learned over the past week. Um, what we're doing today, and, and I won't show you the cam because of things that, have, that are going to be happening on social media. I will show you the back of the cam. If you don't know what this is, it's Copenhagen. We're doing Copenhagen... Wintergreen Long Cut. Now, I will not be showing any more Copenhagen cans that has their logo on it because of things that I have that I've learned in this last week. Um, there's a video that Darcy Mudjug One did. Uh, it, he uploaded Wednesday of last week. Um, and that is, and the FDA is trying to attack social media. And anybody that promotes tobacco products of any kind, um, and also YouTube, or no, Copenhagen, which is U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, has hired third-party. Uh, companies or a third party company to find out who's promoting their product and using their uh, logos and they want to get them off social media so it's based uh, you'll have to do your research this is just the basics of it but they're trying to like Facebook, Twitter, any, any of these social media platforms they're trying to get people to they're trying to shut them down, basically, to stop promoting tobacco. And that's their uh, ploy to try to uh, get kids to not want, to get kids not to do tobacco. Um, uh, you know, I have, I have two videos in the last month or so that are titled Copenhagen, and I have pictures of the cans. One even was in the thumbnail. So I'm concerned that those may get taken down. I don't know. I mean, I'm a small channel. I obviously 15 subscribers. Thank you all for that. I mean, I know 15 is pennies or doesn't mean much to anybody, but it does to me, and I appreciate the, all the likes and subscribes. Um, but, you know, for a, a channel like Mud Jug One or Chris Dips One or, you know, some of these other bigger dippers or you know that's a big deal I mean I would I would hate for this channel to be shut down because I I like doing news reviews I like talking about tobacco because I love tobacco and I love dip so it would be uh, it would be devastating if this got shut down but it wouldn't be like the end of the world because it's not like I'm not you know a lot of these guys are dependent on this money from YouTube to uh, you know for their livelihood. Well, I'm not that case, but I still love what I do. Um, got the olive drab stealth today. Um, so, Copenhagen Wintergreen. Um, so, I, I first did this one was, was in the fiberboard can. Um, where I would have to rank it I mean, it's good. I, I like it. The cut, I actually like the cut, too. Um, it doesn't come apart like uh, the um, straight or the uh, mint. I like the cut a lot better. I don't know if maybe they're all the same, but to me, it seems a little bit different. Um, the flavor is good. It's, it's actually definitely a different flavor than Stoker's or Grizzly. I was going to do Grizzly just regular grizzly wintergreen today 
because I want to pick up some of the new cans they come out with. They're pretty sweet. They got like a cloth in them. I may do that for next week's video. Um, very juicy. I mean, I, that's one thing that Copenhagen has down pat is, is, is the juiciness of their dips. I can't not complain about that. They full of flavor. Um, but yeah, I did this, uh, I don't know, it was about two months ago I did some, and I enjoyed it. I just don't like how they, you know, some people call it God's pinch. I'd call it them just being stingy. But anyways, um, head over to uh, stokers.com. I, I, I'll probably be talking about this until until they actually give away the truck and the mud jug, uh, you know, giveaway is over. Um, now, I want to make a correction from the last video. I did put it in the comments. But tonight at midnight, every Monday at midnight, the the entry period for for this week for the truck ends at midnight. Not the not the uh, end, not the drawing. I, I'm that's what I uh, uh, was wrong about last week. So yeah, the and then the, then the mud jug is. I think you've got like six more days. I think it ends at midnight on Sunday. So you've got time to enter for that. But tonight ends this week's entry period, and then and then tomorrow starts the next week's entry period for the truck c10 uh, tricked out truck um now there's this big attack on tobacco and i understand i to a degree you know we, you don't want kids doing tobacco but the lengths that they're going to in my opinion is bullshit. You know, alcohol, especially when it comes to smokeless tobacco, alcohol kills more people than smokeless tobacco does. Go to any convenience store or a liquor store or, you know, a grocery store, and there's, I they got a whole aisle of, of alcohol and different I mean, you got grape, watermelon, berry, lemonade. I mean, just you name it. All kinds of flavors. I don't see the FDA trying to eliminate alcohol flavors like they are trying to do with tobacco. You know, and then they're trying to attack vape as well. Uh, I just, I mean, we all have our vices, but why are they targeting tobacco when alcohol is more addictive I mean if you're an alcoholic and and if you're like a severe alcoholic you have to drink just to stay alive whereas nicotine yeah you may have some cold sweats or you may have some some minor withdrawals but it's completely different they need to stop what they're doing and stop attacking us especially those of us that are on social media that love doing what we do especially on YouTube you know talking about dip you know talking about products promoting products um, you know I, I, I love tobacco I love dipping and they're trying to attack that and I just I just think it's wrong you know just like I said the title just leave us alone let us do what we do you know, as a dipper, we're not harming anybody. I mean, when you when you put a big old fatty in, you're not going to go out and, and be impaired and go kill somebody. But yeah, they're not they're not attacking alcohol. Um, I want to give a couple of shout outs real quick. Um, first, uh, snuff rings. Uh, thanks for shouting me out in your video. Um, I. I checked out your channel. I, I I really like your I really like your videos, uh, and I'll continue to uh, continue to watch. Uh, and then um, UT UT Southpaw 2013. <coughs> Excuse me, um, UT Southpaw 2013. Uh, he always comments on my videos, so I appreciate that. I don't always reply to him, but I try to. Um, NASCAR was off last week or yesterday. 
um, for Father's Day. Happy fa happy late Father's Day to all, all you fathers out there. Uh, I hope you got to spend the day with your kids and your family. Um, but the way the week before was rained out, and they didn't run the race till last Monday. Uh, Joey Logano was your winner. Second place was Kurt Busch. Third, Martin Truex. Fourth, Daniel Suarez. I, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. He's from Mexico. I, I'm not good with Spanish. And fifth, Kyle Busch. Uh, and my boy Chase Elliott came in 19th. So kind of disappointing week for Chase. Um, the points, Joey Logano moved into first with 614, two wins and eight top fives. Kyle Busch is second with 605, four wins and nine top fives. Uh, third, Brad Kozlowski with 541, three wins and six top fives. Uh, Kevin Harvick, 539, zero wins and five top fives. And Chase Elliott is now dropped to fifth, 531, one win and six top fives. Um, NBA Finals, uh, last Monday night, the Warriors beat the, uh, Raptors 106 to 105, at, so that made it 3 to 2, and then Thursday night, the Raptors won 114 to 110, 4 to 2 was the final, uh, congratulations on the Raptors on their first NBA championship. I'm glad to see the Warriors knocked off their high horse and brought back to reality. Um, Stanley Cup Finals. Um, the Blues on Wednesday night won 4-1 to to make that 4-3 to in their first ever Stanley Cup Finals. So congratulations to the Blues. Um, the other thing I want to discuss real quick is I, I mentioned that I was picking up some oh head over to beardclub.com it's where you can get this stuff it's in my opinion one of the best there are some other companies out there I haven't tried them but in my opinion they're the best uh, you know I said you, the only way to get a good good oil is to subscribe to one of these um, uh, beard companies um, and it's sandalwood I am putting on this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some in real quick. And and I want I talk about how thick the oil is. I mean, look at that. It's nice and thick. And I don't want to spill it either, so I gotta be careful. Note to self, don't put beard oil on when you got a dip in it, but push it out of my mouth or out of my jaw. Um, but yeah, head over to Beard Club, get you some beard beard oil. I got a new tin of sandalwood, uh, my wrong hand, sandalwood balm. Um, let's see if I can open it up here. only use just a little bit out of it it's nice and nice and thick and just you know, I, I'll probably put some on here in a little bit um, but yeah um, in conclusion um, pick you up some Copenhagen wintergreen again I'm not showing the can due to their attack on social media um, sorry about that